Hello, Magic Casters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 17th episode of our third level spell series. Today, we have a very cool choice for us. In the ways, it's kind of a nod to a previous spell, but I'll get into that in a little bit here. We're talking about Elemental Weapon. It is usable by the Paladin Artificer, and it is found in the Player's Handbook. I really love this spell, and I love so, so much that the Artificer has access to it, just because it is a very reminiscent of Arcane Weapon. I get mechanically it works a little bit different, and that's totally cool, but I know that when Arcane Weapon was stripped from the Artificer spell list, a lot of players were actually quite upset over it. And this, you know, thematically at least, seems very similar. So I, I love that the Artificer has access to it. That being said, let's quickly check out its mechanics here. So the effect at a glance is as followed. Turn a mundane weapon into a magical one. Gaining a plus one to attack rolls and dealing an extra 1d4 damage of a chosen type. The cast time is one action, the range is touch, the duration is one hour, and sadly it is concentration. Its components are somatic and verbal, and at higher levels, if you cast it using a spell slot of 5th or 6th level, it becomes a plus 2 weapon that deals 2d4 of the specified damage type. And at 7 and above, it is a plus 3 weapon and deals 3d4 damage of the specified type. The school is transmutation and the damage type is variable, although if you want to get technical it is acid, cold, fire, lightning, and thunder. You pick one of them. Now let's take a quick look at the full description here and break this spell down a little bit further. A non-magical weapon you touch becomes a magic weapon. Choose one of the following damage types. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. For the duration, the weapon has a plus one bonus to attack rolls and deals an extra 1d4 of the chosen damage type when it hits. At higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of 5th or 6th level, the bonus to attack rolls increases to plus 2, and the extra damage increases to 2d4. When you use a spell slot of 7th level or higher, the bonus increases to plus 3, and the extra damage increases to 3d4. Very cool stuff. I love this spell so much from a thematic angle, and if you're in a campaign where there are, isn't a whole lot of magical weapons kicking around, this is a great way of still being able to reap some of the benefits. Just want to make sure I'm very clear, that bonus is just to attack rolls, it does nothing for damage rolls, so it's not a true plus one, a true plus two, or a true plus three weapon. Just want to make that abundantly clear. That being said, let's take a quick look at some alternative uses here. So one of the coyer uses for this spell in particular is using it to dupe people. Um, this can be done just through pretending that the blade or weapon is innately magical, when it really isn't. So for example, you walk into a shopkeep, you're like, hey, this sword has the cool ability to basically deal fire damage, um, how much will you pay me for it, and pretend as though the item itself is enchanted, and as though it is not a spell effect. I'd be very careful about doing this in a truly magical world, and I'd also be very careful about doing this too often, as your DM is not really gonna like it that much. Um, the reason I want to do this in a magically saturated world, by the way, is it makes logical sense that a shopkeeper would have precautions in place to uh, verify whether or not an item truly is magical or not, so use it up on your own discretion. Now, the way a lot of people are sadly going to use this spell, and I don't like this, but it's bound to happen, is you give it to someone else. Typically, you give it to the person with the most attacks, just because action economy. So, you know, sometimes it might make sense for the paladin to have it, but more often than not, you're giving it to the fighter. I can't stress enough how much I really hate using the spell in this way. It's kind of one of those things where rules as written, yeah, you can do it. There's nothing that says you have to use the sword, obviously, but that being said, it is a real 
thematic letdown in my opinion if you burn this in most cases not higher tier spell slot just to give it to someone else I, I don't know it just seems like kind of a letdown to me but whatever and another great way to use this spell is to use it against enemies that you know are weak to various things um, 5e is really bad doesn't really have a whole ton of uh, people with vulnerabilities at least elemental vulnerabilities are relatively rare but that being said under the right circumstances that can be super useful um, vulnerabilities by the way you deal double damage to them so whatever you roll just times by two pretty cool stuff that being said if you have any alternative uses ideas thoughts questions comments or concerns please put them beneath in the comment section and if you like that cool hand-drawn dragonborn and you like your own hand-drawn dnd picture please check out the guild hall to figure out exactly how to do that that being said i hope you have a great day and as always happy casting everyone